find the exact value of each expression no decimal answers accepted in part a we have cosine 10 over sine 80 degrees okay cosine sine sine cosine so they are co functions and how about the angles 10 80 and we know that co functions of complementary angles are same okay co functions of complementary angles so like 40 5 and 45 they make 90 so they are called complementary angles or let's say 40 and 50 or like 20 and 80 they are complementary angles so when we have two co functions like sine and cosine then sine 20 is same as cosine 80 or sine 50 has same value as cosine 40 okay or we can have like secant of 20 and 80 because 20 and 80 are complementary angles secant cosecant okay they'll have the same value so 10 and 80 look 10 plus 80 is 90 degree so these are complementary angles so when we have let's say cosine of 10 that is same as sine of 80 sine cosine or we can have sine of 10 is same as cosine of 80 10 80 complementary angles and sine cosine they are cofunctions so in our case cosine 10 and sine 80 they'll have the same value so same value means when we divide something by same so we get one so this will be one okay you can write uh, co co functions of complementary angles are equal just for your reference co functions of complementary angles are equal so the rest is one now next by the way 10 and 80 are not the standard angles standard angles mean like 0 30 45 60 90 okay in this case second 60 60 is a standard angle so we do have value so you can get the value from unit circle or from right triangle second is reciprocal of cosine okay reciprocal of cosine so let me just And we know that cosine 60, cosine 60 is one half. Okay, you can check this using unit circle approach or right triangle. Then second 60 is just the reciprocal of one half. So reciprocal of one half is two and is squared. So this is two is squared or four. Minus tangent 45 is squared. And we know that tangent 45 is one square so 4 minus 1 so the final answer is 3 in part C secant pi over 4 pi over 4 is 45 degrees so it's like secant 45 secant is reciprocal of cosine and we know that cosine 45 is 1 over root 2 or root 2 over 2 same thing and reciprocal is now root 2 over 1 so second pi over 4 is root 2 plus 2 times cosecant pi over 3 pi over 3 is 60 degrees and by the way cosecant is reciprocal of sine and we know that sine pi over 3 or sine 60 is root 3 over 2 so cosecant is reciprocal of root 3 over 2 that's 2 over root 3 2 over root 3 now we need to add but these are unlike terms so we just keep both root 2 plus 2 to 4 over root 3 and the last uh, question is cotangent cosecant sine okay cotangent cosecant sine cotangent 25 sine 25 so we need to have some relationship between cotangent and sine because 25 25 I can see first 25 25 
And by the way, cotangent is reciprocal of tangent. Cotangent is 1 over tangent. But there is no tangent. That does not help. At the same time, cotangent is ratio of cosine and sine. So, cotangent is cosine over sine. That's 25 degrees. It's 25 degrees. How, how, how does this help? Then sine 25, sine 25 cancel. Let's write the other two factors. That's cosecant 65 degrees, sine 25 degrees. Okay. Now sine 25, sine 25 cancel. Now we are left with cosine 25 degrees and cosecant 65 degrees. By the way, cosecant that's the ratio reciprocal of sine so 1 over sine so when we send this into sine then sine and cosine we have some relationship because sine and cosine are co-function sine cosine so let's go for sine so co cosine 25 degrees this is 1 over sine same angle 65 now is in part a 25 and 65 what is the sum of 25 and 65? That's 90. That means they are complementary angles. So co-functions of complementary angles are same. So we can have like sine 25, same as cosine 65. Or cosine of 25, sine 65. Or secant 25, cosecant 65 secant cosecant sine cosine it can be other way around sine cosine so 25 and 65 are complementary angles and we have co function sine cosine so they'll have the same values cancel so just one final answer